First of all, it's a great honor to be here. Thank you for your leadership on this issue. I think your legislation is exactly the kind of thing that we need to, to bring a more innovative, collaborative, kind of out-of-the-box uh, approach to this. I'm a little humbled to be on this panel with a, a world champion, a seven-time world champion. Uh, I'm certainly not a world champion. I'm also certainly not mother of the year. I'm just, a, <laughs> I'm just an entrepreneur, and I spent uh, about 20 years just trying to make uh, the Internet part of everyday life and try to uh, usher in a more a digital age, and I must admit, for those 20 years, I didn't spend much time thinking about cancer. I was focused on all kinds of other issues. Uh, but I got a call at midnight seven years ago from my brother who had a diagnosis of a brain tumor, and a week later was told he probably only had about six months to live. And we asked as a family what causes this kind of tumor, and the answer was nobody really knows. And you know, I asked what the treatment options were, and people said, well, <laughs> There really aren't any that have been particularly effective, uh, and uh, asked what the you know, prognosis was. And as I said, it was sort of a, a death sentence. And he said, and we said, you know, that's just not good enough. We need to. He was an investment banker. It took a lot of companies like Amazon.com and uh, Electronic Arts and, and uh, others public, uh, and Silicon Valley, and said we need to bring an entrepreneurial, technology-driven approach to bear here. And, and he started an organization which carries on called Accelerate Brain Cancer Cure, ABC2.org. It's focused on driving innovation, focused on driving uh, collaboration, focused on more entrepreneurship in this field. And it's uh, coincidentally this week we have a uh, Brain Tumor Action Week, and on Sunday we kicked it off with a race for hope down Pennsylvania Avenue. And I was joined by 8,000 other people talking about this uh, issue and shining a spotlight on this issue and trying to raise additional funds for this issue. But I'm not here to talk about uh, brain cancer. Obviously, it's something I care deeply about. But I think part of the problem that we, we have now, 37 years into this war, is everybody's kind of focused in their particular silo, focused on their particular uh, issue. Uh, and what seems to be lacking, which is what I think your legislation is trying to address, is more of a strategic framework, taking a step back and instead of looking at this in, as a, as a you know, series of little uh, pieces of the puzzle, integrating that puzzle in a more comprehensive kind of strategic kind of framework. And that's really what I think is desperately needed, coming at this relatively fresh, bringing a sort of an entrepreneurial approach and certainly uh, understanding uh, technology and seeing how the Internet w developed over the past uh, few decades. It feels like that's what we need in this space and the kind of leadership that Congress took uh, with the Internet in terms of some of the funding of DARPA and the flexibility it gave DARPA because of the desire to invest in this issue in the broadest possible context with the greatest level of, of flexibility because our national security was at risk or when we uh, set out with NASA to put a man on the moon, we said we need to do this quickly. Uh, we don't want to put a lot of restrictions on the, the groups focusing on. We want to give them maximum uh, flexibility and, and encourage them to think out of the box. And indeed, those investments led to a lot of other spin-off benefits in terms of our economy with you know, satellite technology and Internet companies and, and so forth. So I think there are some long-term you know, benefits that go well beyond this. But it strikes me that, this, that it's, it's exactly the right time to recognize that this war on cancer is not working at least the way we hoped it would. Uh, it requires a fresh approach. It's a little bit like your personal computer when it's you know, slowed down and not working so well. You have to reboot it. You turn it off and turn it back on and, and it kind of a fresh start. And that's what I think we need here and a, and a new approach that really is enabled by technology, uh, freed of bureaucracy, uh, fueled by entrepreneurship and really facilitated by collaboration. There are lots of great initiatives that are in place. Some of the, the testimony you'll hear this morning talks about them. I would just urge you to focus on this strategic framework, less on these particular issues and more on the broader context. Think of it more as an as a opportunity to build a platform for, uh, for innovation and particularly whatever uh, you end up ultimately deciding in terms of how much of the, the, the national resources should be put against this, this effort. Make Make sure a significant portion is really set aside for strategic initiatives, not focused on any one of these specific issues, but these broader uh, issues such as what's happening with the uh, Cancer Genome Atlas or uh, the bioinformatics network, sort of an internet for, for, for cancer research or a biomarker database, broad <laughs> efforts that really apply to all cancers and over time I think can apply more broadly to healthcare as well. Because the other thing I've noticed as I've learned more about this, even though we call it a healthcare system, it really isn't a system at all. It's sort of a, a kind of confused world. And it really isn't even that much about health. It's more about disease care. And we need a, 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 an ethic, as several of you talked about, that really focuses on keeping people healthy and, and, and prevention and, and wellness, earlier detection of things so you can catch these things earlier. And when people do have these difficult uh, life-threatening disease, obviously uh, cancer being a, the, the, the centerpiece of that, just being able to deal with that in a much more thoughtful 
thoughtful, much more personalized way and recognize that it's less about where the, where the cancer starts and more about a systems approach even to the, uh, the human body and, and approaching it in that kind of context. So I applaud the, the, the effort to really kind of reboot our efforts on, on, on cancer, restart the, those, those efforts and bring a much more strategic approach. And I would urge you to resist the efforts from our organization, abc2.org, and many others to focus resources specifically on specific diseases. Obviously, we care about that. But what seems to be missing after 37 years is this broader strategic framework. And far more of those dollars need to, if there are any earmarks, it really should be for these strategic initiatives that can benefit all cancers and over time benefit our health care system more generally as opposed to the parochial interests of any particular uh, organization. Thank you. Thank you, <coughs> Thank you all. Uh, enormously interesting, valuable um, testimony, all very different and all on target.